All right, here we go. Second part of this video is, remember, how to find the area of a sector we just talked about. This short little clip is going to be on how to find the area of a segment. Remember I told you this is the segment right here. It's like the cord. Cuts off the arc. The definition, as you remember, is a region of a circle bounded by a cord and its intercepted arc. So that cord cuts off the arc. Again, it's like the thumbnail of that piece right there, we're going to find the area of it. So this one is kind of unique because there is actually no theorem or postulate or really anything to figure it out, but there is just kind of a concept if you want to do it. So here we go. Segment looks like this is an example. You got circle A, and in this circle we're going to say the radius is 10, and we're going to say the um, angle measure for A is going to be 90. Now you don't even know what that is yet until I draw it. But the, the question is to find the area of the segment PT. So it's this piece right there. We're going to try to find the area of it. Now remember, if I ask you to find the overall area of the circle, all we would just do is apple eyes r squared. Phenomenal. Put the radius in there. You get 100 <clears throat> pi units squared. So that would be the total amount of little square units you put in the circle. However, I'm not looking for all that. What it's asking you for is to find just the amount of little square units you can put in this piece right there. So, how can I do this? Well, you actually have to do it pretty uniquely. Here's how you do it. You actually have to draw, let me pull this over, you have to draw these two radii. And when you draw these two radii, if you remember going back to the, the, um, the information I just gave you, that angle right there is 90 degrees. Well, here's the concept of how to do it. To find the area of the segment, you have to find the area of the sector. Remember, we just talked about that. That's the whole piece of the pizza. You find the area of that sector, and then you subtract away the area of the triangle. So really, you're going to find, I'll do this again, area of that big old piece of pizza right there. Take away the area of triangle PAT. If you subtract that piece away, notice what you have left. Is just the area of that little green segment right there. So that's the concept. Notice it's not a theorem. It's not nothing. It's just how you got to do it. So the area of the segment. Here we go. Area of the sector. We got to find. If you go back to the video and look at your notes, we got to find the measure of the arc and put that over 360. When the measure of the arc is 90, because if this central angle is 90, that means this arc has to be 90. Sweet. So therefore, 90 goes up there. Pi. The radius is 10. So 10 squared goes in there. So I finish this up. I get 10 squared is 100. 90 over 360 just reduces down to 1 fourth. So 1 fourth pi times 100 actually would be this. It would be 100 over 4 pi, and 100 over 4 is just 25 pi. So this right here actually represents the area of the sector. So if I found this area of the piece of that particular pizza, it will be 25 pi. Now I'm not asking for that because what I have to do is take away and subtract the area of the triangle. Well, go back many, many sections ago, the area of a triangle is just one half base times height. This is a, one of those unique situations because the base and the height are actually represented by the two sides of the triangle. Because remember the altitude drawn down here or the altitude drawn down here, doesn't matter, determines the basis. So 10 and 10 happen to be the, area, the base and the height. So one half times a 10 times a 10, just gives you, of course, 1 half times 10 is 5, 5 times 10 is 50. So this right here actually represents the area of the triangle. So the overall area of this sector, 25 pi, subtract away the area of that particular triangle, which is just 50. And if you're thinking, be careful, 25 pi minus 50 is not negative 25 pi. No, sir, no, ma'am, not correct because these two things right here are not like terms. I'll go back to algebra. It's as if if you have 25x minus 50, ain't no way you do anything with that. You keep it that way. Same exact concept. You would keep 25 pi and you keep the 50 exactly as it is. Oddly enough, that's what the answer would be. So, yeah, that's ugly, whatever. So this right here is the answer, 25 pi minus 50. In fact, I would probably even put this. I would put units squared. So 25 pi minus 50 units squared would be, would be the area of that segment right there. Now if it asks you to do to the nearest tenth, 
you can do 25 times pi, get that decimal equivalent, and then take and subtract 50. That'll give you your answer. But I'm going to tell you most times in this section and in trig and calculus and beyond, it's going to probably tell you just keep your answer in terms of pi. So there you go. Good luck. We'll see you in class, and we'll practice these bad boys. Later.